Thank you so much for joining us for this interview. Would you like to introduce yourself? I would love to. My name is Erin McGinnis. I'm a freshman at Wazoo, and I joined the ski team this year. What would you say you need to be good at with skiing? I think one of the most important things when you're like learning how to ski or like working on it is just to have a really good attitude because you can have you know good days and bad days and the snow could be a good day. What advice would you give someone who wants to take up a career in skiing? Probably just to start really young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and just really work hard. I think that for the skiers who are really good, they're training, you know during the entire winter, they're training in the summer, they're just like, skiing is their life. And so I think for someone who'd want to have a career and a teacher just really devote their whole life to it. Would you call your ski racing a high risk sport? Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think so. It definitely can be. On my last race, I fell and hurt my knee. Same as well, we were yeah. both crippled yeah, I know. actually. <laughs> Would you say you enjoy slalom racing more or giant slalom racing? I enjoy slalom racing more. I enjoy my slalom skis more because they're shorter and I just have had more time on them. Um, so definitely probably slalom. So slalom is like, they're just a single gate and they're really close together so you're doing faster turns. They're also on shorter skis and then giant slalom is just like bigger so then you have, it's only two gates and then they're bigger and wider turns. And then on longer skis because you have a wider turn and you have for longer skis. Would you say the ski team is like your second family? I would definitely say that, especially being a freshman, I really haven't had um, that many different opportunities outside of, you know, like school and the ski team, and I have definitely found really great friends through the ski team, so I'm really thankful for those relationships. Well, thank you so much, Erin.